Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review video. It feels like eons. I am so sorry. I feel like I owe you guys not really an apology, but like an explanation of just like how crazy life has been. Obviously, I'm not trying to make any excuses, but YouTube is my side hobby. I do this for fun and just with work and stuff ramping up in the holiday season and we have a big convention that we go to for work coming up in January and I've just been so busy and I work in a really small office. I also work with my husband, my father-in-law, so it's just crazy and there's a few other people I work with so we got a lot of different hats we wear and a lot of work we do so just keep that in mind and I'm still managing to keep up with my schedule. It's just that I've been doing like a lot of swatch parties and stuff like that and that's honestly because I felt like I was getting away from my swatch parties and you know they're not like these amazing professional swatches but I think a lot of the comments I get on them, the positive ones, I really appreciate because sometimes all you just need to do is see a quick swipe on somebody else's skin tone and it kind of helps you with that buying decision. I've also decided to kind of give you guys reviews or first impressions in my description boxes if I do a swatch party and I've happened to try the palette just because if you never hear about that palette again on my channel at least you can refer in the description box about a review. So what I've been doing is I get a palette, I you know either film like a get ready with me or something or do a swatch party and then I get a new palette and I forget about a uh, I forget all about the old palette. So I'm going to try and be more mindful and, you know, follow up on my reviews. Obviously the list is like endless. There's so many palettes I owe you guys reviews on. So, you know, 2019 is around the corner and it's all about fresh starts here on my channel. So <laughs> going to try and do that as well. So just a few like housekeeping stuff. Wanted to talk to you guys about this little collection. I did buy three of the lippies. I only have two here because my husband dropped me off at home and proceeded to go to Costco and the other lippy is in my purse. So I'm so sorry about that. I have been wearing this collection. I've worn it three times now. I'm wearing an eye look that I created using this palette this morning and I've dipped into all the shades so I'm very proud of that. Another thing I do want to tell you guys before I start talking about Becky G and Colourpop is I bought this foundation. I'm having a foundation crisis like my crisis evolved so it's having a concealer crisis now I'm having a foundation crisis and I went to Walmart the other day and I bought a bunch of foundations I'm going to show you guys actually Let's just talk about everything I've just been doing, you know what I mean? So I decided I'm kind of poor and I wanted to buy <laughs> some drugstore foundations. So I bought this one. This is the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. I wore it for the first time today and this thing has the most god-awful smell. So I don't know how people stomach that. It does fade throughout the day but I can't believe the scent on this and I bought the shade DW2 think the match is good. I don't like it necessarily. It doesn't really wear that well, etc. So we're on the fence about that. I did buy this in the summertime in a different shade. So I decided to try a lighter shade for the winter. This is CoverGirl Golden Amber T10 is the shade. And this is the True Blend Matte Made Foundation Comfort Matte. So that's exciting. I also got this e.l.f foundation. I've actually had this one before. I did go ahead and toss it. So I picked up a new one. This is in the shade Nude. Not sure if this is going to work on me, but I do remember that being pretty full coverage, so I'm excited for that. Then I picked up the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. If it says all day, I mean that's the kind of coverage I need. So, oh my god, did somebody use this? Yeah, somebody might have used this. Oh well. Anyway, this is Golden Tan, so we'll see what I think of it. And then I have tried this foundation and I remember liking it. This is Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in 09 Tan. So I just wanted to try out some affordable foundations and see if any of those work for me just to wear for work and stuff like that. I've just been hating like all of my foundations that I currently own. Like I love the Hourglass Stick Foundation 
here it is but I wore it the other day and I did not like it on me and so I was really bummed and I was like no so I need to just like use up some of this stuff but I just wanted something every day that made me feel flawless so that's why I bought some of those drugstore ones so if you guys have any good drugstore foundation recommendations definitely let me know down in the comments because I'm here curious to hear about it I just touched up with this physician's formula around my mouth area and now like my whole face is fucking stinking so that's annoying <laughs> but let's get back to my review so this particular palette definitely falls in actually you know what I'm so used to saying ColourPop is affordable but this palette is 18 bucks so usually their palettes that look like this aren't they like $16 and everyone kept comparing this palette to the Dream Street, Dream Street palette and I've actually reorganized my Dream Street, Dream Street palette because you these little pans are removable so you can like move them around like if you really like gradients and not just like a random thrown together palette like this you can switch them out and once I like saw the pictures because people had done like side by sides of this I really didn't think they were that similar I really still don't think they're that similar I feel like this is definitely geared towards people with Kathleen Light skin tone and I can see this one being more geared toward people with my skin tone or darker I still feel like they could have gotten a little bit darker with like these two shades but I'm wearing this shade Lola in my crease today and I really think it's a nice everyday color for like work you know it really brightens up your eye it's a beautiful peach color so I think that is really unique and the shade Patrona has a really nice duochrome so I think that's beautiful as well I feel like this palette kind of makes you gravitate towards the shade um Serena and Vib Vibra the two like tealy greens pretty much end up either with like a blue eye with like a neutral lid shade or you can do a neutral lid with some shimmers or you can do a neutral crease with the blue like an all matte look so okay real call me and now I can't remember where I was but I feel like I was talking about the price of this and how I noticed that it was a little bit more expensive than the regular ColourPop palettes and you know I've bought ColourPop for years um, ever since they started with the Super Shock shadows so I am very familiar with the brand and I have a lot of product from them and I basically got this on their website and this launched on December the 5th so I have had it for about a week now or less than a couple of days I think I got this in the mail on Monday so I've worn this every day since I received it and I do believe this is limited edition I can't imagine that they're gonna keep this around for very long probably sell out a few times and then restock a few times and then it'll probably be probably be gone and then the lippies are 650 and I bought all the ultra matte lips and then the palette is 18 the lippies I wanted to try the ultra matte formula again because I haven't really had them in a long time I bought them when they initially launched and I thought the formula was not the greatest so I would wear them every once in a while and then they'd like sit in my collection and they sat and they sat and then I just ended up like get, getting rid of them because they were just getting really nasty and they're so affordable I just ponied up and bought these shades because I'm really into like these rusty colors and the shade I have on today is Besame, and I love this color. Again, it's like a red, but it's a muted take on a red shade. So I do love that. The formula does feel like it is a little bit drying, but nothing you can't stomach. So just want to mention that to you guys. As far as shipping goes, ColourPop does offer free shipping if you spend over $30. I think I spent like 40 something dollars. So yeah, this collection when they come out with so many things like that because she did more lippies and I think she did like a highlighter too it gets pretty easy to spend over 30 bucks the nice thing too I noticed is ColourPop has now added like affinity pay I think is what it's called and it basically like allows you to split your payments into like four smaller payments so you don't get charged any interest or anything but you just pay 
smaller chunks over like two months, which is kind of nice. I mean, I don't know. It makes me feel a little bit better about my shopping habits, which is probably not a good thing. And then as far as discount codes, I know a lot of smaller influences have gotten discount codes where you can get $5 off. I've used Angelica's code. I've used Samantha March's code. And uh, I'm addicted to the codes. And the ColourPop website is smart, so you can't use it multiple times. So if you guys know anyone else with a ColourPop code, I'd be so happy to use it. If you guys could just leave the code down below, I think everyone would find that helpful. So I need to thank you in advance. And I just randomly searched on Instagram for ColourPop codes. And I found a YouTuber, Instagrammer, whose code I've never used and the website let me use it. So I really appreciate, you know, being able to save any money on makeup shopping. As far as the packaging goes, I love this packaging. I think it's so cute. Like if this was a shirt, I would wear it. Like it's so beautiful, that little print. And it's really, really cute. And this is made in the United States and it is cruelty free as well. In case you didn't know, ColourPop is based here in the US and you get a net weight of 1.00 grams of product. So these pan sizes are a little bit smaller than their single shadows, but the whole point of these smaller palettes are just like keeping up with makeup trends, you know, so you don't really need like a whole palette. And then I showed you guys the Dream Street. I didn't think they were that. I mean, they're a little similar. And then the only other one I could think of that has some blues is the Mar palette and I got this in the summertime when they launched it. Sadly, I haven't really used it too much either since I got it. I am contemplating like depotting my ColourPop shadows and putting them all in like one palette just so I can go to one spot to get all of the little shadows. And I'm also contemplating just like decluttering some of the older palettes because I just don't use them enough, but that's another story for another day. As far as shade selection and finishes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matte shades and one, two, three, four shimmers, which I think is cool because there are some really fun mattes and I definitely think you can definitely achieve like a beautiful neutral eye with some of these mattes. So this might be really a fun everyday palette for some of you that are balling on a budget or just, you know, you like to change your palettes out very often, I think. That's why I'm so drawn to ColourPop because it's affordable and I love a new palette. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just telling you how I feel. I love digging into a new palette. So I do do love that. And I do think this is going to be a nice take on the Dream Street type shades for a deeper skin tone. So I do appreciate that. Some of these shadows are definitely more easy to work with than others. I was struggling with this shade today. It's like a champagne shade. It shouldn't be that hard to use, but I was just having a tough time foiling it on my eyes today. Everything else foils so beautifully, I must say, and I didn't have any problems with the teal shades either. As far as the million dollar question, would I repurchase this? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm so jaded because I have so many ColourPop palettes. But I do think, you know, from a perspective of I've never bought another ColourPop palette and this is the only ColourPop palette I have, I think it's cool. I think it's fun. I, I think the packaging is cool. I do like Becky G. I mean, I like some of her music. She's not like my like main jam, but I think, you know, she has her appeal, her mass appeal, and she did a decent job with this palette. I don't know how much, you know, I think everyone probably has these shades. I know for a fact if I rearrange this palette, I'd be looking at another neutral palette. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like $18 is a little bit too much to pay for this. So if I had to repurchase this, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But it's not a bad palette. I think, you know, if you're a fan, you'd really enjoy it. And it's a good representation of ColourPop. And I enjoy the lippies I purchased as well. So, since I've been here blabbering for so long, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys found this video useful. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!